Grand Rising. See, y'all looking over here on Instagram. Y'all get to see me cam up. My YouTube audience and my Facebook audience don't get to see me cam up that often. <clears throat> Cause I just be running what I need, running what I need. <laughs> How y'all doing? Come on in the room. Come on in the room. All right. Um. Let's see. I guess I just let everybody know here, but just do it, do it. Sending out notifications, y'all. Sending out notifications. Now, I don't really got no planned topic or whatever. I'm just here. I'm sending out notifications. I'm just doing stuff a little differently than I've been doing. Kind of reaching out of my comfort zone a little bit. Hell, at this point of life right now, I don't even know if I have a fucking comfort zone. Like, shit is just, is what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is, motherfucker. <laughs> and it's like that. And that's the way it is. Good grief. How many motherfuckers is on my list? Lord. They're like, oh, we got the Facebook people on here too. Good grief. Goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, hello, everybody. Wow. Hey, y'all. Good grief. Oh, man. It is five people up in here. So, is that all you got to do to get people to come in and say, hey, you just got to send this shit out because they don't really be sending out no notifications. Is that what really be going on? Oh, my goodness. Hey, y'all. Look, look, look. Mo in the building. Mo done brought all the bones to the yard. Hey, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. I'm so excited. I've never had like five people in the chat at one time, man. I ain't got no topic. I just decided to show up because like on my other platforms, I, I don't cam up as much. I get up there. I say what I need to say. I didn't learn how to, um, what I learned how to do, y'all. What I learned how to do. I learned how to screen record, um, and record my thoughts and upload it. You know what I'm saying? So... I learned how to do that, so like, shit, that's how my YouTube videos get up there, plus, you know, it be hard putting them classes together to put them on the website, so like, it be taking me a long time, you know what I'm saying, and it's still gonna take me a long time, cause I wanna make sure y'all got y'all classes right, you know what I'm saying, I want, I want y'all classes on point, you know what I'm saying, yes, that's full price for the class, even though the class ain't always com all the way complete up on the website, because the class will one day be complete, and that will be the price of it, and it's gonna be there. For all of those that's waiting for it to all come together. I know Risque in the building. I ain't seen her. Re hey, Risque. Hey, R&B Terror. Regal Locks, how you doing? Hey, Nicole. Oh, man. Anyway, how y'all been doing? How y'all been doing? It's Friday. So, really, what's supposed to be happening, y'all, is Friday. Now, this is before I got sick. Y'all know Friday Beauty. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be doing some makeup. So, hey, pretty professional. Girl, can you tell I feel better? Can you tell I'm getting better? See, y'all done tried to tow these motherfuckers. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened to me. Let me tell y'all what happened. Like, for real, 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 for real. Remember I told y'all I was going down there to that hoodoo temple around Halloween. You know what I'm saying? I went down there. You know what I'm saying? Bad shit happened. Bad shit happened on a spiritual level. Okay, that's why y'all haven't heard me talk about the shit. Okay, bad shit happened. It was not the place to be. Um, I'm not advising nobody to go down there. I'm not trying to shit on these folks' dreams or whatever. But um, when you go to these places, and I'm gonna tell y'all, uh, the message spirit gave me 
while I was there was nigga done from dust to done. Y'all remember that shit? It is a fucking place full of motherfucking vampires. That's it. And I can tell y'all all the details about the vampire shit and how that shit happened and transpired and all that shit. And if y'all want to hear it, let me know. i tell you about it because shit was really in the motherfucking field. And I took my ass down there and I went down there. Um, and folks tried to sacrifice me. They tried to fucking sacrifice me. Um, the good thing about it was my spirit guys and my team is always with me. You know what I'm saying? They always with me. They had me spell up before I went the fuck down there. Okay? And I did. I was spelled up like a motherfucker from head to toe. Charmed up, prayed up, all of that before I went down there. Praise God. Okay? Praise God. Because if it wasn't for that knowing and that motherfucking protection, bitch, do y'all see, have y'all seen what I've been going through? Now, all of this is not attributed to that situation. But for a strong body person to go down the way I did these past couple of months coming into the beginning of the year. Yo, them were supernatural influences. And I went down there open. I'm here to serve with my hands. I am here to help with whatever y'all need going on because this is a good thing. And you want to sacrifice me for stupid shit. Um, that that was very disheartening to deal with. You know what I'm saying? But you know, but God, you know. So I go through things, and I I be trying to tell people stuff and stuff, and I I just I ain't been real good at, about sharing this type of shit because you know. I guess it was a thrill of people thinking I'm crazy, but I don't give a fuck. People think I'm crazy anyway, so fuck it. I might as well talk about my experiences. Let me tell you all, y'all, this shit is real. Don't be fucking around playing in the spiritual realm, okay? This shit it is real. It is some nasty shit out here. It is shit that is walking around looking like you and me, and it's not you and me, okay? That shit is real. People are not crazy. Don't be playing with shit. Please know what you're doing before you get into the shit, okay? Just know what the fuck you're doing. And I'm not saying you're going to know everything. Learn to rely on your spirits and guides and things because this was a very dangerous situation that we was in. Another reason why I don't talk about it is because, I mean, I've seen um, and been in other situations that were much more dangerous um so to me it was pretty much child's play at this point it was just a test of my emotions and my wills that's all it was it, it, it was a test it was a level up it was a grow up it was here's a lesson it was a who the fuck are you what are you made of and what do you need to do that's, that's what the fuck it was so I'm, I'm just saying y'all uh that's why y'all don't hear me talk about it. And um, I think I done finally got it all the way to fuck out. But it's Friday. We supposed to be doing makeup. So, y'all know I'm not in the mood. Look, I need my hair washed. And let me tell you something. Um, anybody in the San Antonio area, if you want to learn how to do a head washing, I need my head washed. I will teach you how to do a head washing if you will come over here and uh utilize your hands to wash this head okay like i need a spiritual i don't have the energy right now it's probably gonna take me a couple of more months before i can get to the point where i can contend with this but if you want to learn how to do a head wash and there are several ways to do head washes it depends we can talk about that when, when you get here and i instruct you on the process of this okay Hell, I might feel generous enough to even pay your ass. Because <laughs> I need my head washed, y'all. Anyway. So, it's, 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 it's Friday. I don't think we really going nowhere. But I don't know if I want to, I want to play in something. Some type of makeup. So, I got this thing from Juvie's Place. And I, I I'm going to use it one day. Look at that. 
Who is it that crazy? She said, I want to fight. No, don't be fighting nobody. Don't fight nobody. There is no reason to fight. See? Um, when people do shit to you, it's real easy to get upset. It's real easy to get angry. It's real easy to want to reset. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, it is pretty, ain't it? It's supposed to be like our disco ball glittery and shit. So, what I want to do when I do get back trying to play in my makeup again i, I want to get something that's gonna make that glittery shit pop up and i'm a, and then i gotta figure out how to put this stuff on my eyelashes because y'all see i got these big old ass eyelashes right but they got all these creases in it so like i had put some eyeliner on there one time and then when i opened my eyes it did that crease thing and then it wasn't all the way dry so like do i wait till it dry or i can't do that like i don't know whatever but <laughs> um so let's play, let's play lipstick. Y'all want to play lipstick? Anybody want to play lipstick with me? Anybody got some lipstick and they want to play in and we can play together? Anybody want to play? This is the Reds and Berries from Julius Place. So I think I'm going to put like three of these on so y'all can see how pretty it is. Ooh, well they got lip gloss too. Which eyeliner you use? Girl, look. Okay, so what is these? This is a liner. I think this is a lip liner, though, but I use my lip and my eyeliners together. They say you're not supposed to do that contamination, whatever. Um, I do it, so whatever. Okay, um, that's Juvia's Place. Girl, look, Juvia's Place is the bomb.com. I'm trying to get into this other company called Glamour Spell. I have not gotten into Glamour Spell yet. And I'm trying to get into Glamour Spell, but there is a certain way that I spend my money when I buy makeup, and it don't seem to be aligning well with it. But Glamour Spell, I, I might just have to get, like, pieces of things here and there. Because there is some, um, uh, it's a brush thing she got with this gold shit that I want. I want to try that, but I, I might just have to suck it up and just buy or item here and there, I can't buy it. Like, I would buy it my fancy or my Juvia place or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. Girl, these, this, this, this shit right here. Um, so, I got the reds and I got the nudes. Which one you want me to play in? You want cam up? Which one, which one you want me to play in? Cause it's, I mean, it's a Venus day, so we need to honor the energy. At least I do. And I haven't done no makeup in a while. Also, if your ass is broke, Rizzo, if your ass is broke, I, I, this is what I need to do. Let's see. What are times looking like? I need to. Let's, hold on. Let me let me pull up some correspondence just real quick. See see what we can get crack a lacking right now. Do that one. The news. This. So you gonna get your ass up here and tell me how to do this? Cause uh, uh, I don't really know how to do no news. I bought them because like you know it'd be hard to get black people to do news. But I see these black women put their news shit on, baby, and they be doing it. And I be like, how they do that? I look foolish. Okay, so we got the news. So let me. I get. I'm on. Boom. I don't uh I don't sent you a request. But yes. So there's that with the spirit. I ain't got hey, no baby. Make <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you don't look like me though. So you know you good. <laughs> Girl bye. But um I, I just got out of a fucking interview. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's why I'm fresh faced and shit. I ain't feel like putting on no fucking makeup. I was like, look, that's a nice little uh, brown. Is it brown? It's a uh, cow cocoa. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's pretty. I see. I like like natural colors on my lips. I like to do colors sometimes, but if I have color on my eyes, I do neutral lip. But that's just me. Well, I ain't putting nothing on my eyes. I'm just going to play a lipstick today. That's all the energy I got. That one's pretty, too. Do you do, you do like, um, like the lip liner and then put the lipstick on there? 
I don't do shit. So you finna teach me. So yes, you do. You you wear makeup. I just feel like you like to play in it though. Like I do you like, like to more. But I know nothing about this new shit. So <laughs> the girl, I, I would look a fool with it. So they got the the what is this? I think this is, this is lip gloss, and then it's got this. So you know, it got all these colors, all these lip glosses, and all these other things. And I'm just it's like, a set? yeah, it's a whole. Oh, that's pretty. How much? Oh shit! I need to go get that. Yeah, so that's why yeah, I'm I like, like that. who gonna get up here and help me put this together so I don't look crazy now? Well, you said you ain't putting on no makeup, so I mean, what you need I help with? I know. What what you want help with though? Like just how I to apply it? I do not know. Like how you layer it? What? How you lip lining? What? what okay, let me get some of my shit and then I can we can do it. Yeah, we. Cause my ass is lazy, I don't feel like doing all that shit, but I'll do it for you. I gotta learn, I gotta learn. Like I be watching where he looking like, uh, like where is this? It's like me, it's like Libra. Okay, so I gave my daughter one of these because two of these came in the seat. Mm hmm. So like they always name us some shit Libra. Why it gotta be Libra? Yeah, um, what you need to do is get like a brown lip liner, like something like this. Let me see if you can see it. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Hold on, let me put this shit like this. Huh? I can't see it. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. So hey. like, oh, let me show you. Or like something like this. You see that brown? Or like something deeper. So I got my chapstick on. Hold it on. So, Line of brown on the whole lip. Yeah, I just you just follow the contour of your lip, you know? Yeah. It's gonna look crazy right now. I'm gonna look like I got a mustache, but I'm gonna do mine with a gloss though. See, see, see. I prefer gloss because I wear gloss more. So is it bad for me to put the liner on now that I don't put the lipstick on? Do I need to take this lipstick off and then put the yeah. liner on? I, I like personally, I think personally for me, it's easier to like line it first because it gives more of an ombre look, and then you know you just kind of. Go with uh, the shape of your lips, and, and you kind of like if you have a lip brush, you can smudge it, but if not, you can like angle the pencil and kind of like you know go like that a little bit. And then I'm, I'm doing a sloppy job, I'm just trying to show you like how to do it, right? Just kind it, and then I'm gonna get a lip gloss. I'll just tell me. Hey, how are you? Oh, shit. Okay. And then what I do is I go like, I put the, I start in the center, but I, you know, and what the you brush do? out. That's gloss? Yeah, this is gloss. Okay, so what color gloss would I use with this? I got this one. <laughs> whatever one, okay, whatever one you feel like. Would look nice over it. Like if it's a new, do something, you know, neutral. What you ain't put the lip liner on it yet, did you? I did. You ain't put enough. You just went I, around I it. You have to you have to go in the, the the inner corners too and kind of you have to like blend it out to where you know what I'm saying? It it like it's enmeshed. Like, you know, the, the lighter part is, you know, is blended with the the line around your lip, and then like pucker your lips a little bit, just so it'll blend. If you don't have no, uh, not like that, like like you know, like you trying to blend it out. 
But if you don't, less if you don't have like a lip brush, it will be easier to do with a lip brush to blend it out. What's a lip brush? Um, do I have a lip brush? I don't be using them because, like I said, I used, I just go like, you know, use the edge and angle the pencil and kind of shade it out and pucker my lips, you know. But some people like to use it. Let me see if I got one. I got it. Hold on. Something like this. The song said light blue brown in the middle. You see this? That's clear. Oh, that thin tip brush. Okay. Yeah, like something thin tip and then just kind of like pat it or like, you know, smudge it so that it'll blend together and it won't look, you know, like the harsh line, lip line. You know what I'm saying? So it'll just blend out. Nicole said for my skin tone, I got to do the whole lip brown and then nude in the middle for ombre. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's true. Shit, for any for any skin, any brown skin tone, I'll say if you have like certain like nudes that are like bright, like something that would be a nude on a white person, but it might look chalky on you, you would definitely need to go in with the lip liner first. So would I put either one of these over these colors? I would put the if you do, I would put that gold looking one. Is that gold? Yeah, it gold, clear gold and pink. So yeah, so the whole new I feel part. like you would do like for the pink one, you would do that if it was like maybe a purple lip or something to make it pop or have that, you know, um just to give it, you know, a little dimension because it complements it. Go with if you put a gloss on top, go with something that will complement it, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna go with these brown gloves and see what happens. So I just put it. <laughs> just, just start off a little bit in the center, and then you can kind of add more as you go if you want. I don't really like this. Is it darker than the lipstick you put on there? Yes, it is. Let me see. I can't see your your lips. What's wrong with it? That, I think that looks pretty. It just looks natural. You See, you I'm know not, what? I'm not used to nudes. That's why I was like, somebody I get up here and help me, but it, it do. It looks like a natural lip. But you, like I said, it would be better for you to apply the uh, the lip liner first because it'll be more like of a um, opaque. Like, you know, yours just kind of looks natural, which is fine. And when you put makeup on, it'll it'll look better. You know what I'm saying? Versus yeah. when you put lipstick on and you just trying to shit on, it don't look the same to me. I right. never wear lipstick unless I got makeup on anyway. Really? So, no. I'll, I'll do like I'll do something like this, like some lip gloss. But like lipstick, just I don't like the way lipstick looks on me without makeup. Some people could do it, but I don't like it. Huh? Well, shit, I throw on the gloss because I feel like gloss look better on my lips without makeup, you know? Yeah. I feel yeah. like if I'm going to wear lipstick, I, my face got to be beat. <laughs> you said what? I said gloss is easier, though. You just throw some gloss on it. Be like, we done. He said, they're fine. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my nails. They look a mess. <laughs> yeah, okay. You couldn't have put talking to a lady with a, a whole mat ball on her head. Okay? I know, but <laughs> hold on. I got to look. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is a mess. I'm waiting for the rest of these motherfuckers to fall off. I'm going to show you the other hand. You got the magic finger. What I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with your ass. No, this should look crazy, but I mean, I work from home, so it's like it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but um, what you gonna do next? Okay, so she said, do the whole lip a uh, brown. So I guess I pick a brown. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so, you don't have to line all of your lip, but mo majority of your lip. Like, leave a little bit in the center for the lighter color. So, if this is the, this is a brown, 
So which mm-hmm. y'all y'all wanna see? This one or or this one? I like that one. This one? Yeah. Okay, that's Coco. Mm-hmm. I'm in love with the Coco. You might not need a liner with that one. I feel like the liners is better. Oh, excuse me. For the like the lighter shades and shit that you wouldn't wear without a liner, you know? Or like even with bright colors, like if it's a real bright pink or whatever the fuck. I having mean, like a deeper liner helps make it look more, you know, it cohesive. I look stupid without a liner. That's everybody though. <laughs> Oh, okay. If you go wear, if you wear, like for right. me, if I put on, let me show you some shit. I'm gonna show you some shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look crazy for a Show me this shit, girl. Show me this shit. Okay, here's here's one. So this is an old Mac lipstick. I don't even wear this shit, but I hate Mac. Hate it. I used to when I first started. Uh, is this even any good? Yeah, it is. <laughs> When I first started wearing um, makeup, MAC was, you know, I started collecting their little lipsticks. Let me see. You know, I'm going to use something different. Yeah, everybody's like, MAC is a stick. MAC is always a stick. Um, what the fuck do I got to show you? Okay. Here we go, one. This one. This bright ass pink right here. Uh-huh. Don't that look crazy as hell? It does. <laughs> now, if I went in with, like, let me show you. Something deeper, like a deep lip liner, like this. You know, uh-huh. like a deeper pink. It would give you that ombre look, and I'm not going to look like I got a powder donut. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Right. Oh, okay. So, anytime you wear some shit that that's like this that wash you out, you need a liner, and that's it. Don't matter if you light, dark, whatever. We ain't white, so we definitely need lip liners. Well, my lip, my lips gonna be light. They not. I don't got a definite light line. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's the point of the lip liner, though. It's to like create that line. It'll take practice for you to like know like what what how to do that in a way that's flattering on your lips. But yeah, just go with the natural. Shape, especially down huh? here, I said yeah, cause my lips shape, honey. Especially down here, like you can most people have it's dark around there, so you can kind of see where to go. Mine, it, it light you up and disappears. <laughs> yeah, but most black women lips is like that though like honestly i can see your the the line on your lips though it, it's it's not maybe you don't think of it that way but i can see it like if i was doing your makeup it would be real easy to line your lips uh, okay because um, i went to a it was a mary Kay class and we was learning to put on lipstick good in line and it was like this is how you do your lip liner and that's it and i work for my lips I was like, oh, we don't know what to do. <laughs> I was like, nigga, I don't know what to do, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. See, them, I don't like other people doing my makeup because I feel like even when I had a makeup art, like two times that I've gotten my makeup done by other people. And I did like, at first I liked it, but I feel like it was because I didn't know how to do makeup. But when I started learning, I'm like, yeah, I could do way better. But the thing about makeup is I feel like once you get the hang of it, nobody can do it better than you can. Because you know your your face, you know your skin, you know certain things about your face that other people may not know, you know? So. And how it turned out? Yeah, it was fucking gorgeous. I wish I had the pictures. It was, uh, it was when I was in high school. I seen pictures. It was this African girl. She did my makeup for me. And baby, I have never had a face to look like that ever again. That she did that. It mm-hmm. was beautiful. I'm like, them Africans, them Africans been going in with them, that makeup. Oh yeah, and they like bright colors and shit too. I do like the colors. That's the whole point of makeup for me. If you put no colors on, then what the hell are you doing? For? I like. I mean, you know what? 
I, I feel like I should do more colorful looks, but I just love like neutral shit on me. Like I feel like my face is more flattered with neutral colors, but I do like the colors. Do y'all neutral? Especially guys. purple. I purple like is my shit. <laughs> I like my Lana. It, it's there somewhere. You just gotta look for it. I know, right? I'm like, what did I do with it? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to turn it Like, a good brown face looks really good on me. But right now, I got to give me a... Uh, uh, you said what? I got to get... I got to get a different foundation. I got to get a different foundation because... Like, my skin tone keeps turning, and I'm having a hard time matching my foundation. <laughs> well, with the foundation, that should be tricky, because honestly, well, there I feel like it's it might be easier now, because all these brands coming out with these different shades, but yep. a lot of them be having them too yellow or too fucking orange and shit. That'd be the hard part, and you gotta mix them together. Yep. Um, I like Cover FX. They shit is pretty good. And Lancome. Now, you could do the drugstore foundations, because I, I haven't tried, like, the Maybelline and shit, the, the music. I like Cover Girl. Queen Collection. Oh, the Cover Girl. See, I, the only thing I have for her collection is the bronzer. I haven't tried the foundation. Oh, yeah. I had the foundation in Oakland. That was the first, that was the first foundation I ever used. Um, I like. It. See, I have to. I can't be. I guess for me, I have to be selective because my skin will break out. It will break the fuck out. Like, so I can't do no Mac and like certain drugstore shit. I can't do it. it. Like, I, I haven't tried all of them, but the ones that I have tried, my skin just doesn't like. <laughs> yeah. But everybody's skin different, so you know. Yeah, I tried it. Um, I liked it. And then after that, I went to Fenty. See, I like Fenty. It just makes me oilier. And I got oily skin already. Yeah, I got dry skin. That's why I like Fenty. Oh, yeah. That'll work perfect for you. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. They uh the one thing I hear people rave about for dry skin is that Giorgio Armani. Now that one is more expensive, but I'll be seeing it on people and it look good as hell. What but is it? the foundation? Oh. Uh no, hell no, I ain't buying no Giorgio Armani. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you what I what people tell me they like. But I don't know much about the foundations for dry skin, like that are like you know, like drugstore ones. I only know about like more oily skin. Hi, it's just the. <laughs> oh, that's somebody new to join. Uh huh. What you doing now? <laughs> I can't I see all your face. Okay. That's the brown. Uh huh. I think it that's a pretty good one. but it's 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 like a nude on you. It ate the uh, lip liner. You can't even see it. Well, with with that one, you don't really need the lip liner because it it's not you know it ain't super bright and shit. <laughs> so, do I do a new gloss or a new stick in the middle? You can. You can put like the the lighter new in, in the center. That would be that would give you the look too. Gloss or stick. You, Mixing lipsticks like that, one dark, you do that first, and then do the lighter one in the center, that also gives you the ombre look. Uh, li uh, stick or uh, gloss? I would do the stick first, and if you want to put a gloss over it, maybe put like a clear gloss over it. Stick. Huh? You said do the stick first. Okay. Yeah, put the lighter lipstick on there, and if you got a clear gloss, if you want to do gloss, 
I think clear is easier until you decide, like, you know, which ones you like to put over, you know, use as lip toppers or whatever the fuck. But clear is like, you can't go wrong with that, so. Okay, I see how that works. Let me see. I can't see it. I see like half your lip. Yeah. It it honestly it lightened it up a little bit. Like it makes like but you put it over your whole lip or you put it in the center? In the center. See you have to if you want to do the ombre, I should say. It has to be two like different colors. Cause not different, but like it got to be one that's light, way lighter for you to have that ombre. But that's still nice, too, because it gives it a different variation. You know, you can play with colors and switch it up. It looks natural. So, yeah. Unless that's not what you're going for. I'm, ain't that what new supposed to do? Oh, yeah. I'm trying see, to figure out how to do the new. I don't know how to do new, so... The yeah, see, with the nudes, you got to play with them because everybody's skin, like, has a different undertone, you know what I'm saying? And it look everything look different on, on different people. I'm trying to figure out what the hell my undertones be. I can't figure they see that for nothing in the world. I'm like, this is yellow. Is What is it? <laughs> it's hard for me to tell because I, I can't see you in person. And then sometimes yeah. people look different on camera than, you know, in real life. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it's like red. Uh, but it's not always red. It's like, yep, yeah, it's very blue. See, you could be, you could be neutral even. Um, because, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like, you know, there's warm, which is more the yellow. Um, and then you have like the red undertones. And then you have uh, the neutral as well. But, oh, excuse me. Um, the best thing to do, I would say, is to, like, try different shit. Because, like I said, even with the high-end foundations, them shits be, can look too yellow or too, you know, orange and shit. And you just really have to play with them. Yeah. Don't swatch it on your hand because that ain't going to, like, sometimes the back of your hand it's not necessarily the same, you know, tone as your face. Right. But um, they say to go with the shade of your, like, your neck, like, or your collarbone, you know, to swatch yeah. it here. Because, you know, like, my face, for example, is lighter than the rest of me. So I would go with the shade that matches, you know, my torso. For your undertone. No, I'm saying when you pick a foundation color, yeah, like you see how my face is lighter than the rest, like my neck, for example, yeah, or not my neck, but my torso. So right. I would, I would swatch on, you know, my torso to match or to wear for my foundation because even though my face is lighter, I would go with a warmer shade and then I would highlight. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but just so it'll look more even than me just matching my face and it looks like I'm just white as fuck and then, you're not white as fuck, but lighter and then, you know, this is brown, you know, like I don't know. Yeah. I, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it so. makes sense. Well, you got to get a decent Yeah. It's, with, with, like, black women, we have that hyperpigmentation too to where we have uneven skin tone and it can be harder to like find what colors and how to contour and shit. So, you know, it's trial and error. Trial and error. I remember when I was in college, I don't know why the fuck, probably because they, they didn't do makeup, but they was like, girl, it looks so good. And I'm looking at pictures like, what the fuck was they talking about? Well, you know, makeup done you evolve like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, true. The radio is not <laughs> always all this. You used to yeah. go to Dollar Store, get you a damn thing of lipstick, slap it on, put it in your purse, go about your business. Now, if you just put some lipstick on, you out here looking crazy in the world. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I just I don't know. Um, I I really enjoy like playing the makeup, but shit, I haven't been. I feel like since I've been home, the only time that I wear it is when I go live or some shit, or you know, just I don't know to for, like for my Instagram pages and shit. But like, it's just kind of pointless, kind of now, and I'm mad that I just you know be in the house and shit. Cause it ain't the same. You gotta wear the mask, and it's gonna fuck the makeup up. So I've been getting more into like skincare. So, but I don't know. Shit, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie though. What I realized is, since I, you know, since I've been into skincare, and I had fell off, I'm like, shit, my skin look nicer without the shit. <laughs> oh yeah, people don't be like some me. products are cool, but they be trying to get you to spend all this money. To get excited about it, and you know all these benefits they talk about in the products, and it's like that should be really fucking up your skin more than helping it. You know, it does. That's why I don't wear it. And uh, I said that's why I don't wear it every day, and that's why you know it's something fun for me to do. Cause if you take care of your skin, your skin looks amazing. No, I'm talking about the skincare products. Like a lot of them are. Oh, not like, Yeah, like 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 I said, my skin looks better now that I, I've been kind of slacking on you know my skincare regimen, and I'm like, shit, <laughs> maybe I need to slack. <laughs> like I feel like I break out more when I be using like certain products, like because they put a lot of different shit that irritates your skin anyway. You know. <laughs> As far as skincare, I don't buy products. To me, that's ridiculous to buy products. I'm not like buying products. Just I'm like I don't need all the extra shit that you know they be advertising. I feel like you really need nothing, honestly. Like I, I when I say nothing, I'm being a little facetious with it. Um, a bottle of astringent and some cold cream is fine. Everything else. You can make that shit in your kitchen. Yeah, that's true. All that shit they sitting up here sitting and talking about some goddamn skincare. Like, don't get me wrong, I love me some Rihanna. I love Miss Fancy and all of that. I will not be buying all that shit on her skincare line. Girl, go to hell. I have herbs and water in here and alcohol that I can utilize on my skin. Like, I have issues where, like, you see these little spots right here. I... Mm -hmm. I'm hairy. I grow hair on my face and shit. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I have to say. Yeah, yeah, I grow hair like on my chin and shit. Yeah. It's genetic. And <laughs> sometimes it breaks out and it leaves these blemishes. Yeah. I can, I can get this out of my face. I've done it several times. And I don't have to use no extra products. Just some herbs and some water and some shit. Now, I'm gonna have to consult with you about that one because yeah. I would like to like learn more natural, you know, ways of taking care of my skin too. Yeah, because if buying all them damn products, that shit ain't nothing but a money grab. You see, if you know doing skin care and you know what makeup does to your face, and you honest about what makeup do to your face, you should know buying all that goddamn shit is not gonna help you. <laughs> well, some of they do. Some of some of the products do work. Well, but they're not necessary, right? You know, like extra. Oh, we got to put yeah. this company. Now, what the fuck is you doing there for? So that's the white folks shit because I don't be doing all that. Like what I do is like I'm really into like serums and shit because I I noticed that the serums are what help my skin like the texture of it improve. Now yeah. that I feel like it's worth it. Like a good serum, and then what I really like is like there's like a skin essence, uh -huh. and the skin essence and like toners and shit like that. They also help soften your skin too, and it'd be smooth as hell. Like to the point where it's like you know it re it retextures your skin. So that them is cool, but like they be having just all types of crazy shit. Like under eye creams, that shit don't fucking work. Like I've been trying to like use them. You know, because I be getting bags. Cause I, I'm like a night owl. So sometimes, you know, I get a little bag through my eyes. And that shit don't work. So I'm like, this is a waste of money. <laughs> that don't work. All these extra face washes and scrubs and shit. No. No. 
shit poison. Put that shit in your face. Yeah, yeah. Like, this, this all I use. <laughs> See, my my grandmother used to use that. That's old school. It, it, it mother sucking shit. Do you hear me? Now, that's good for dry skin, though. I can't use it for me. It's too rich. It my shit be greasy as hell. <laughs> use that shit it, on me. But this is the makeup removal. So, like, sometimes, um, most of the time, my skin is dry. Every once in a while, it's oily. When I have oily days and I use this, I just go behind it with another cleaner because this shit will get to make it. What? That shit take all yeah, the shit, That shit is good. Like, that, that's tried and true right there. Like, that's a good brand. <laughs> I mean, like, y'all, y'all buy all this shit. The old people was right. This is all you need, motherfucker. This is it. Mm-hmm. But, like, now, see, for me, with the moisturizers, I've had a struggle because with oily skin, a lot of them be just making it worse. But I have to use, what I use is Kiehl's. It's like a gel moisturizer, like a gel cream. That yeah. shit works for me because, like, my skin, you, you know, has a little, like, you know, it's a little dewy slightly, but it looks, it doesn't look greasy as fuck. So yep. that's the only thing that really works for me. Like anything else, it just produces more oil. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. But let me get off here. I need to fucking get some shit done. Go ahead, get it done. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, we gonna have to hang out again. And I'll, I'll, like I said, I, um, I've been hella busy, and shit, but I'm definitely gonna uh, begin some more consultations for me. Okay, cool beans. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna be doing is, um, uh, I can definitely. Oh yeah, you sent me the uh, the link. But what 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 is that? That's a class or what is it? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's um uh, it's uh I'm gonna teach people how to make their own mojo hands on the full moon. So that's gonna be our full moon ritual, and we'll be smoke cleansing to start with the year we get into it. So okay, got to the 18th to so buy their ticket if they need a consultation on what they need the materials they're gonna need. If you already know what the hell you gonna do, then you don't need to say you just pay the store for the life. But uh, after the 18th, so let's I'm gonna do for the class. Just so I know, because I don't. What I I said I clicked on the link and I didn't see like where the fuck to sign up. I don't. I guess I was confused. No, I and I want to know how much it would be. Twenty five dollars. And I uh. You said how much? Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then with the link, how the fuck do I sign up? Because it's like RSVP or something. I'm gonna send you the link in your email. Because it's gonna be a live okay. video. If people didn't pay for it, they won't be able to access. So, let me see. I I feel like I got an email, and it's like, it's an invite, and it's telling me to download and join. So, would I do it on my phone, or? You can go to the website. That's just because I sent it through the app. Weeks is stupid like that. Eventually, I'm going to go to another website, because I'm tired of Weeks. Weeks do the dumbest shit. So, um... I'm a um you can just go to Sunkin Spiritual Consulting dot com and then click on the event and purchase it that way. You're gonna have to download that app. Okay. So when I go to the site where I go to like just send it to me. <laughs> it shouldn't take you okay, I'll send it to you. It shouldn't take you directly there. Um okay. but yeah, showing people how to make a money on hand, so people can Give themselves a helping hand. That's that's what we doing. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I'm down. Um, but yeah, send me send me the info so I can like um, join and shit, and um, I'll touch bases with you soon. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. All right, you too. Bye bye. Bye. Well, that's my show for the day, y'all. Y'all stay dark and lovely. While I spread y'all love and light. Thanks for dropping by.